All right, let's go. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new to us Husqvarna LE322 battery powered mower. So we're going to open up, we're going to unbox it and take a peek at it. This has been out a little bit. They started out by selling it through a mass retailer. I don't know why they did that. So Husqvarna, I'm not happy with you on that, but I understand whatever you got to do. But guys, as an audience, as people watching this on YouTube, I, I really would like to encourage you to purchase from a local dealer. They're going to have the opportunity to go through the product, set it up, make sure everything's right, register the warranty, be there to provide the support when you need it. And guess what? You are someday going to need it. This is not a disposable lawnmower. A lot of the battery stuff and electric stuff that's been out previously, I think you just kind of wreck it one and done and never need anything. Um, this is getting up there in money. This is going to be pushing a grand uh, by the time you get it out the door. There will be sales, there'll be price changes. But anyways, it's not a cheap one, but it's a good one. From all of the stuff that we're reading on this and learning about this, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool machine. So let's open it up. Let's take a look. The Husqvarna LE322 battery powered mower. So we're going to start. I haven't even touched it. I've got four in yesterday. We're going to start by cracking the box open and see what we can figure out about it. A couple things. Obviously, I try to do my research so I know a little bit about it. Uh, one, it weighs 102 pounds, so it's not necessarily a lightweight mower. I think that's a shipping weight. So you've got your chargers included in that. And you've got some packaging. But with the two batteries in, you've got to figure this is going to be an 85-pound plus lawnmower. So... We should be looking at a very durable lawnmower. It's a 21 inch. That's kind of the norm, the standard in our uh, in our world. Everybody kind of likes a 21 inch walk behind. Let's may as well turn this so we can drop it down and take a peek at it together. So that's a metal deck. There appears to be a plastic liner in that. Uh, good or bad, we don't know yet, right? But okay, plastic liner in the metal deck. They are replaceable. And let's go ahead and drop this down if we can. Hold it out, drop it down, and the mess. There we go. The unboxing of the brand new LE322 Who's Commander Mower. What do we got in the box? I'm gonna put my knee on this piece of styrofoam. So we have the owner's manual, probably something worth checking out, right? There's some things we're going to learn about that. We have our lawnmower bag. This is a three-in-one mower, as most of them are today, where you can bag, mulch, side discharge, all that good stuff. There's the bag. Capacity looks suffice. I mean, I think it's a good, good capacity for this. Uh, good handle. We'll see how it hooks up to the mower here in just a minute. Then we have... Let's see, how are we gonna pop this up? I see on the side, there's gotta be something to release this. This is good, this is good. Well, let's start by getting rid of this, getting rid of this. We'll keep going through the box. We have our battery charger in the box here. What charger are they sending with? I think that's kind of interesting. It is the QC, where am I seeing this right there? QC 250, so a 250 watt charger comes with it. That's a pretty fast charging speed. And then let's pop open here. We have no batteries in there. This is a battery hatch. So that means batteries are still in here. And look at this, the BLI 30 batteries. These are 7.5 amp hour. Uh, 36 volt, sometimes Husqvarna says 40 volt, but really honestly, a 36 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery. Both of them slide in, boom, and then boom. With these two batteries, we should be getting around 75 minutes of runtime. Obviously, conditions are going to vary that a little bit, but for a lot of people, an hour worth of lawn mowing, this is going to do the job. Batteries in. Hatch closed. That's a nice stay shut hatch. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. This is what? 
what is this? I'm thinking this might be something like a mulch. Oh, this is a rear discharge chute. So this piece right here is going to, when I lift the rear door like so, and the mulch plug, which is in here, comes out, mulch plug out, rear discharge chute. So, oh, nice. Easy, simple rear discharge chute right there. So if you're a little bit behind and can't mulch or can't bag, that opportunity is there. Let's pop this up and let's take a look at what we got going on on the bottom of it. A decent lift to the blade. It's always, you know, one of the things is a battery mower that we're always struggling with is how long does it run? How long does it run? How do we make it run longer is to be uh, more efficient, have less drag, less wind movement on the mower with the blade. So uh, not a massive lift to this blade. It'll be interesting how the vacuum suction is on that. Again, uh, we talked about a plastic lined deck. It is steel underneath, but plastic lined, that might prevent some sticking. That's probably part of it. Also something that could be replaced if damaged. Good looking wheels. We got 7.5 inch front, front wheels. Looks like about a 10 inch rear wheel. Here's our transmission hanging out here. Uh, a little fan above the blade. This is common. We're used to seeing this on these battery mowers that provide some cooling to the brushless motor. They say this thing has 30% more power than previous models. So that's gonna be exciting to see how that comes out. Still haven't figured out how to <laughs> lift this handle up. We'll do that in just a minute. Here's my control panel. Let's get up there. And this is gonna be our engage for the blade. So kind of the, the power, the motor. And then this is gonna be our drive. And we can do that with left thumb or right thumb. And then our speed is controlled right here. Here's going to turn the machine on. Start, stop. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get a look at this in just a minute. But let's figure out how to get this thing up and the handle folded up. So here's the rear of the mower. And obviously it folds up nice for transportation and storage. Ah, so there's got to be. Okay, so there's little tabs right here that you lift and the handles just come back. And actually, I see how it is. This is pretty slick now that I've got it figured out. So I think right here, I haven't done this yet, but look at this orange button. I push this, I can move the handle up and down. Okay, that's slick. That's nice. So that's gonna allow me to very easily go uh, from a operating mowing position to a storage fold over position. Okay, let's back this up a little bit, get some more of this stuff out of the way. Peel these handles back. So very innovative uh, handle design. I like that easy fold and it, it feels pretty durable. I don't think it's gonna be something that's, that's cheap. I really don't need to peel this off. You guys don't care about that. Single point height of cut lever right here. I'm down to 1.5 inches and I'm up to 4.5 inches. And actually they say 1.52, 2.53. So they're giving you the actual inches on the sides. So we've got a, a large range of uh, height to cut. A lot of people in my area are gonna be in this two probably, the two inch range. Maybe some will be dropping it down a little bit more. Let's see about putting this bag on. We saw how to put the rear discharge chute on. I'm gonna just drop all this stuff in the bag. So the bag, you're gonna lift over and lift the door and the bag. Yeah, a nice solid, it's not coming off. Good made up right there. Good made up, gonna stay in place. Again, my batteries are right here. We have some active cooling. So we've got uh, open vents, ports on the side that allow airflow to come through and keep this engine Sorry, not engine, it's not gas or diesel. This motor, it's electric motor running cooler. All right, let's take a peek. Let's fire this baby up. So here's what I gotta do. I've gotta push the power button. We have a headlight, woohoo! We can do some nighttime mowing, that's always on my list. There's a battery life indicator right here. So it says how much battery is in it. There's also then uh, propel, that's gonna allow me to drive. We're gonna figure that out. We'll push some buttons together. 
and we got start and stop. Uh, let's take a peek. Okay, so we have the lights on. It is currently in a locked position. So let's go here. Ah, so hold the lever down and press start. Woo! That's moving some wind. Did you hear that hit? Stop. Did you hear, hear that hit a high speed and then it dropped down? So we've got a load sensing to it. Drive, I'm gonna go slow. Squeeze left, drive. Squeeze right. Drive, simple drive, and let's go some speed. I'm gonna kick it up to the rabbit. 3.8 miles per hour. Oh yeah, I wanted to kick in and go. It was ready to do a little racing. And then we have, I'm guessing that's eco mode. So let's try it. I push, there's kind of an arrow button going in a circle. I push that, handles down, I'm gonna press start. So there's a button here that allows me to change really the height of cut or the level of cut, kind of the power that I'm looking for. Pretty slick. What do you guys think? The new Husqvarna battery powered mower, part of the Max series line. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I'm excited about this. I think we have a player. Thank you guys for finally bringing this out to the dealer channel. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of purchasing at a local dealer. And I think with a mower like this, we're going to be able to serve you well for years to come. So stop by Carl's Mower and Saw. Check out the, the newest, the latest, greatest Husqvarna battery-powered, self-propelled walk-behind mower. Or the full line of products. We've got all kinds of stuff in store to help make you an expert at lawn care and help keep your lawn looking its greatest. We'll see you soon at Carl's Mower and Saw.